Corporal James Dunsby, Lance Corporal Craig Roberts, Lance Corporal Edward Mayer. They dreamed of serving with the SAS. They died not behind enemy lines, but in searing heat on a training exercise on home soil. Two years on, their families hoped to hear the full story. Briar Dunsby, in the white dress, described her late husband as an exceptional all-rounder. Craig Roberts' family said he loved everything about territorial army life. Edward Mayer's father told the inquest his son was superbly fit. None were strangers to the SAS aptitude tests where potential recruits are timed on gruelling marches. That day, 78 soldiers, almost half of them reservists, set off around 7am on one of the hottest days of the year. A 26-kilometre route up and down steep hills in the Brecon Beacons, carrying rucksacks weighing at least 49 pounds. As the temperature rose to 27 degrees, some nine soldiers succumbed to the heat. Some were being sick, others hallucinating and disorientated. Three had to withdraw from the march. The first soldier to give evidence said he had been unaware that there was only going to be water at three out of the five checkpoints manned by army staff. At 10 past four, Edward Mayer's GPS tracker showed he had stopped. He was not found for another 45 minutes and was not breathing. James Dunsby was found just before five o'clock. Shortly before, Craig Roberts had activated his personal man-down beacon showing he was in trouble. None could be saved. In a statement, Craig's mother said she asked an army officer that night why they hadn't cancelled the march in the heat. She said he replied there would be too much paperwork. We were so angry with this answer. We were being told that the march wasn't cancelled to save on paperwork. The inquest is due to last three weeks and the families have been warned there will be much difficult evidence to come. Tessa Chapman, Five News, Solihull.